when I was 12, uh, I became blind. Uh, I was 80% of my uh, central, 80% of my vision was uh, just gone. I went to, went to bed and I woke up and I couldn't see. I could only see out of the corners of my eyes, which wasn't very much there. So um, I went to the Iron Ear uh, and they told me that uh, I needed to give this a try to see if it would work. So I went to the National Hyperbaric Centre in Dublin and from there we started doing uh, sessions. I was just a guinea pig. I No one had ever done this before uh, like for my condition. So it's called Libra's Optic Neuropathy and through, uh, through sessions, so I did 10 initially and then two a week then uh, for a few months and then one a week then doing top ups. And through doing this, uh, I was able to get my sight back and I can now drive a car and now studying to do my accountancy exams. So it's it's always been something that since I was young that I've always wanted to promote and I've done so in the past and I continue to do so to try and get people who have my condition and other conditions just to get them uh, have the same experience that I've had. That's absolutely amazing. And am I right in saying that at the time on paper, there was no scientific or medical evidence to support that hyperbaric oxygen therapy would be effective for your condition? No, there's no there's no cure for my condition at all. And there was three different types of levers. And of course, it's, so each one had a different percentage of just you getting your sight back. And of course, mine was 10%. So there was a 10% likelihood that it would just come back. And that that doesn't usually happen with levers at all. So the, out of those 10%, like, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't see them because it's such a rare disease. There's only 10 of us in the country that, uh, that I know of that have had it and they've all been treated through uh, true chambers like this. It was Professor Lorraine Cassidy that I suppose came up with this idea. She, you know, she was just going by the basis of your condition and the benefits of, of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So I suppose, has she sent other people since then for this treatment? Yeah, so anyone who anyone who comes to the Iron Air, they would be uh, brought before Professor uh, Cassidy to, like once they, once they can see that they do have levers, she would be the one who would then say to them, this is where you need to go, and this is what you need to do to get it back. And she'd then put them usually in contact with me or one of the other uh, one of the other guys who've gotten their sight back. And we'd let them know that there is hope there. We can, you can do it. You can get your sight back. It just takes a bit of time. So you're a real advocate for, for a hyperbaric oxygen Definitely. therapy. Definitely. So I mean, how does it feel? You know, you were on the verge of, I suppose, applying for a guide dog. You were legally blind and now you're driving a car. You know, I mean, how does that feel? Oh, it feels unbelievable. So like I, I had uh, the, the, count, the National Council for the Blind of Ireland come to my house. They gave me a cane. They were trying. To, they were teaching me ways of like finding things that you drop on the floor. They, so my mom had the my mom had the guide dog forms, and she was, uh, she she was like, I need to get these done. He needs to get this dog, and all I was thinking was, I'm gonna get my sight back. So there's no need. So I was always power of positivity. I always thought this was gonna get better. So, uh, but like. The, the, they were they were amazed in the Dublin clinic when I came in at sixteen driving a moped in in the front <laughs> door. So, the, he was a bit shocked at first, but I got all this. I got my I I test signed off by my professor. So she, if if there was anyone going to sign off, that's who was going to sign off on that. So, I, and now now I've moved on to a car, full license. So, very happy to do it. What do you see for hyperbaric oxygen therapy? I see like I've from when I've started and uh, when I started there was only. Like three chambers and those those three chambers only one of them was really in use and now seeing more and more chambers coming up it's it's brilliant to see it to see it happening and doctors are now starting to double uh, double take on it now because i even i had a doctor tell me that we can't well, you can't go into the chamber it could make you go blind and i was like but that's why i'm going into the chamber so it was it's a lot of the time with doctors if they don't know something they'll nearly turn it down straight away so I find like it, they need to be more open about other treatments that are out there and I think that is starting to happen in in the medical world and there is hospitals now that are that are getting chambers in it's just making sure that they're actually using them and that's what we really want to see. Well Eric we thank you so much for for visiting us here in Oxygeneration Um, obviously we'd love to see you back in the chamber in the foreseeable future and I mean, to everyone watching, uh, we're just 
baffled and amazed at your story and so happy. So thank you again. No problem. Hopefully I was able to give somebody some hope. <laughs>